I feel like Double Paladin is gonna counter this, uh, this thug. But I mean, like, this is what? no ordinary thug, man. This is Peekaboo. This is Dillypoo and Cubsy. This is like the thug of the ladder. This yes, is yeah, it is. but at the same time, I mean, the people they're fighting are really yes. good. <laughs> Elite is the highest rated Holy Paladin. Yeah. Holy Paladins are good, but Elite yeah, was making exactly. Holy Paladins work before they were considered even remotely good. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, I haven't seen too much of Mystic lately. I, I fought him the other day, but I haven't seen a lot of him. So hopefully he's still on top of his game as well. Peekaboo right up in front here. Cheap shots early on. Trying to connect onto Mustache Man, it would appear, which is Yoss. He was in the cheap shot. Murder of Crows. He's going to get globaled here. Rupture comes up. Mark for death. Double Abyss into the DR cheap shot. Elite with the clutch execution sense, though. Double Fist of Justice. What can you do with two fists? Quite a lot. Crows on the Dillypoo now. Ironbark answers that immediately out from Cubsy. The Avenging Rast still up from Mystic, though. Pressuring Cubsy. Cubsy now very hard. He's going to displace the beast back behind the pillar. Pops the heart of the wild to keep himself completely safe through the opening pressure. Kidney onto Elite. He's going to freedom to reduce the CC on that. And Dilly Poo is getting pressured hard. Yeah, Elite actually getting blinded there by Peekaboo. He's going to immediately bop that. So, I mean, even though he's used that bop offensively, Mystic still has a bop and Elite still has two bops uh, available. <laughs> and uh, Elite still has his trinket as well. Looks like they are going to open up onto uh, Mustache man here. The double CC coming out though. Cubsy cloning Mystic. The trap coming out onto Elite. And that's the cross CC they need against this Holy Pally team. I mean, if they can cross CC both Paladins, they're not going to be able to help Yoski at all. The full mm -hmm. Hodge trap comes out onto Cubsy. Um, but um, they're not able to really pressure anyone. I mean, the Hodge coming out onto Dilly Poo is going to trinket that immediately. And they're going to keep the pressure rolling onto Yask. Warrior Master coming out from Elite. He's going to desperately spam all those heals. Peekaboo throwing down that smoke bomb to try to deny some of that elite heals as well as the kidney shot coming out to him. Uh, Yas caught into another stun, the full trap coming out onto elite. He's going to have to bubble that, and this, this thug cleave just causing so much pressure onto this double bubble team. Yeah, and, and Peekaboo cheap shots Mystic to stop the sack, and Cubsy just clones out of it. So Peekaboo sets up Cubsy constantly over and over, and he actually eats the trap here. But they're swapping to Cubsy with the fist. He did manage to pre-bear form it. It might be the reason why he can save his bark skin here, leading to the kidney shot. They need to land a little bit more CC out of that, though. They're not getting it just yet. The fist now DR'd onto Cubsy. Two fists, too little time. But he's doing fine, living through it, and bashes Mystic right now. Yoss taking a bit of damage at 50%, 40%. If Elite gets kicked here on any of these heals, it might be the end. He goes for the Wyvern onto Dilly Poo. Uh, Cubsy's going to dispel that immediately uh, and go for a clone here back on Mystic. He's going to land it. Unfortunately, Rebuke not available. So he's going to land the full clone onto Mystic. Possibly another clone out as well. And there's the cross. He's not able to dispel the Wyvern Sting. He trinkets to try and dispel it. He's way out of range. Kidney Murder of Crows. Props to stay by the light. They don't care. Bop is going to get that Murder of Crows off in the nick of time. And now they're pressuring Cubsy hard. Forced into the bark skin with the Fist of Justice. He did not pre-bear form it. So he's going to take an incredible amount of damage. Displacer the Beast away here behind the pillar. Peekaboo getting trapped up but dispelled immediately by Cubsy. Yeah, and Elite still has, I mean, despite the CC that's come out onto them, I mean, Dilly Poo forced into that uh, deterrence, going to get out of it right away. Darren Bark comes out from Cubsy on a Dilly Poo, but like I was saying, Elite and Mystic, they still have so many cooldowns left. Elite still has a trinket, still have two bops available to get out of CC, and Cubsy being pressured a lot here by Yask and Mystic. Hodge comes out, he is going to have to immediately trinket that. He didn't have Bark Skin or Iron Bark available, so the next swap on him could be a lot of trouble. Elite deciding to bop I'm not sure what he bopped, but I think he it's might have blind. bopped a kidney on himself or a blind. Yeah, it bops the blind. The wings come out, keeping his team very, very offensive right now. And it looks like they're just going to try to ride down Cubsy the best they can. Yeah, but there's the cross CC kidney onto Elite. Mystic spamming has some flash heals to try and keep Yas popped. Uh, Dilly Poo not popping the Murder of Crows just yet, and that's the burst cooldown you're looking for. And Yas actually going for the barrage on a Dilly Poo at 50%, full fist on the Cubsy. I don't imagine they're going to swap. Uh, Dilly Poo actually taking so much damage at 30%, a fist now on the Peekaboo, unfortunately. He's going to get rooted up on the Dispel as well. He has to cloak out of it. Full trap lands. No trinket. Dilly Poo completely alone. No deterrence. is 30%. He pops the Beast of Ratho and the Crows trying to turn it around in desperation in the face of death. He's says I do not care trying to punish Dilly who uh, sorry punish Yosk there and Cubsy now getting swapped to the murder of crows is up onto him he's going to displace their beast away he's trying to save the bark skin he's going to pre iron bark here before he gets fist of justice trying to go for a cyclone whoever on a mystic gets dispelled by elite instantly Dilly Poo has survived some way Cubsy unfortunately had to use that iron bark so it's not going to be available for Dilly Poo who is out of deterrences and at this point this red hunter uh, can just pick their target and go the shadow dance coming out though maybe a global here 50% HP mystic with the clutch heals to keep him alive Live long enough for Elite to come out and top him off. Comes at 50% mana in the back line, going for a clone, gonna land on a Mystic, and for the time being has sustained himself. Yeah.
Peekaboo on uh, still relentlessly on Yasuo, trying to get out as much pressure as possible, spamming that five uh, that Phantom Knives for combo point generation. Kinney Shot comes out onto Elite. Um, or on to Mystic, the Elite caught into that full trap. Mystic, though, here comes the wings from him. Cubsy now caught into the full trap. Dilly Peak could be in a lot of trouble here. He does have one deterrence available. He's going to have to pop that, but he's still taking so much damage. Uh, Cubsy into the double fists. Uh, the smoke bomb comes out from Peekaboo, a little bit defensive there, and Dillypoo could still be in a lot of trouble. This is a lot of damage coming out from Yaskin Elite. The Iron Bar comes out, Cubsy trying everything he can, desperately trying to keep Dillypoo alive, but they're switching it over onto Yask. Um, Elite, not in any CC though, going to be able to top him, it has those wings up. He's caught into that full blind, he's going to bop it immediately. No blinds have sucked this match, Let's always have a bop ready yeah. to go. And I mean... Dilly Poo doesn't really have anything left except Trinket, and Cubsy has his Trinket as well, so I think they're going to be okay for the next little bit. Oh, and uh, Yas has to Trinket. Chief Shot still getting pressured really hard. DR Chief Shot onto Elite at 50% into the Grote. Has to Aura Mastery out, throws out a Fist of Justice. The Wyvern's going to land on Cubsy. He's going to come out of it into a Half Trap, though. Dilly Poo still being pressured. No deterrence. This has his Trinket, though, into the DR Fist of Justice. Dilly Poo at 50%, trying to do his best to kite Mystic, but he's right on his tail with the, the Law of Justice right now. But the full Kidney onto Yask. No Trinket. Elite doing a good job to keep him off. He got locked out now into the Cheap Shot. They're going to cover that with a clone onto Mystic. He's not going to be able to uh, sack out of it at 40% on Yask. Evasion comes comes out from Peekaboo offensively here. He wants to push in and end it. Full clone onto Elite. Uh, he does trinket it into another clone. Cubsy getting all these clones out in the face. Murder of Crows comes up. Elite has a lot of work ahead of him. Deterrence comes out from Yask. And this Thug Cleave somehow, some way, getting the pressure out when they need to. Bash on the Mystic. Maybe some CC out of that. Not going to be able to. The Gouge comes out to follow it up. And Yask at 20% HP. Elite just unable to heal him at this point at 40%. The Holy Lights connect 60%. Going for the Word of Glory. No interrupts available to stop the heals coming out from him. The cheap shot though full, kidney onto elite, mystic desperation mode spamming the flash of lights, execution sentence defensively to heal Yas so elite can sit the CC, pops the on use trinket to try and top him off, throwing out the denounces to reduce Peekaboo's damage, and Cubsy's getting pressured so hard in the back of this. Yeah, the Ironbrook comes out on the Cubsy, and if we look at mana, I mean, this could come down to a mana, a mana game. Um, Dampening comes in and it's at 11% right now. Cubsy down to around 20% mana, but at the same time, Mustache Man caught into that full kidney. He's going to get bopped. Elite's going to pop those wings and try to desperately top him off. Mystic also used the bubble there, but they're trying to turn it around on a Dilly Poo. Cubsy caught into that trap into... Uh, uh, yeah, he did trigger the trap into a Hodge, and they're switching over to Cubsy now. He does have that um, Heart of the Wild up, so his Hots are going to be extra powerful, but this team is under so much pressure. Cubsy has nothing left that they swap to him again, except Barcian, oh. but Dilly Poo taking the damage down to around 40% HP. Elite popping that bubble, trying to keep his team offensive, and Dilly Poo down to around 15% HP. He could just die here. Hovering around 10% HP if the kill shot comes in. Cubsy oh my God. managed to pick him up, though. <laughs> Meanwhile, Yosk... Um, That's sad! Dude, the sap onto Elite. Clone That's onto sap! Team is CC'd. Yas could be in a lot of trouble here. Saved by the Light comes out from Elite onto Yaski, but uh, Peekaboo putting Elite into that kidney shot. Cubsy caught into the Hodge, and uh, another bop is going to come out onto Yask. Yeah, both Paladins did their double bubble though earlier, and the Thug Cleave has somehow sustained their HP. So if they can get the CC out onto Elite and cross CC Mystic to prevent the sacks, there's the Bash possibly trying to go for any CC at this point. Yas getting pressured, full clone onto Mystic, but Elite's position so far out of the way, it's really hard to CC him. Vanish comes out from Peekaboo though, the full kidney's gonna land. Cheap shot onto Mustache Man, who is Yas. He's getting globaled right now, 40% in the smoke bomb. No deterrence, is de desperation camo! He's gonna go down to the Murder of Crows, 15%! Elite gets locked out, and this Thug Cleave is going to take out this counter comp convincingly. What the heck? Just like you said, man, counter comps can go either way. That was in freaking incredible. I can't believe it. Whoo! Wow. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what to say. I don't even. Uh, do I even have a replay? I think I forgot to press the replay button to, like, to record. I did. I forgot to press the replay button because I was oh so God. into that game, man. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, yeah. So, uh, let's jump right into the next game. That was crazy. <laughs> wow. Well, but yeah. So what, what did he sap him out of there? I think it was a kick lockout. He kicked him and sapped That's him That's why I was thinking, because he, he wasn't CC and I saw a sap and I was like, how did the elite just fall out of combat? And I was like, it had to be a kick or something. It had to be something. Yeah. That's crazy. Because he wasn't dr to trap, it was a full trap, or full sap, so it, was, it wasn't a Wyvern Stinger or a trap. So I'm pretty sure it was an interrupt. That, or he AFK'd and just fell out of combat. I, uh, I don't know. I kind of doubt it was that. <laughs> oh, it could have been a blind too. 
but it, it, I don't know. He was able to get it even while Dilly Poo is like 20%, which is why I was yelling about it. <laughs> That's I can't believe it, man. All right, so the next map of this best of three guys is going to be played on Ruins of Water I'll see you guys in there in just a minute. Oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Did someone leave? No. Oh, cool. All right, boys, welcome back to Ruins of Lordaeron. This is the Boo Brothers go to Alaska. Peekaboo, Dillypoo, and Cubsy up against Double Bubble, Mystic, Yasuke, and Elite. So it is Ruins of Lordaeron, but I mean, I feel like it could be given, this map could give an advantage to either team. Uh, but I mean, I don't know. We'll see what happens. So I guess uh, we missed it, but it was a blind staff. We've been corrected, so sorry we missed that, guys. Jeez, Jeez Louise. It's so bad, dude. Yeah. We should let Twitch chat commentate. <laughs> <laughs> and they are just going to camp the room and wait for all the stealths to come out, but Dillypoo can just camp the camo. This Thug Cleave doesn't even need to come out of stealth. Um, Peekaboo is just building up the slice and dice combos. They're just going to camp that room. They don't want to leave it. Um, obviously, they have a lot of utility, with double bop, double bubble, double hodge, and they can kind of lure them in, but how do they answer this? I, I think this happened at uh, regionals in EU as well, when one team just camped the room, and an RMD, I think it was, just wasn't able to push in. They, they literally just sat out here for two minutes and didn't know what to do. So what, what do you do, Ben? Do you just go for it? I, I don't know. I mean, it's a tournament situation. They, they only need one, one game to win. I mean, they could just play it patient if they wanted. I mean... I would play it safe too if I was double bubble trying to deny Peekaboo's opener. I mean, if they they lose this game, they're they're knocked into the lower bracket. But I, love I, I, don't, I guess it's just going to be a battle of patience. His little nineteen twink transmog just giving a dance, waiting for them to come out of the room and beat men. Fight outside of the room. He doesn't want to walk into their dungeon. I think his dungeon is much more scary than Sidu's dungeon. I think for this team. Yeah. <laughs> um. We're, we're going to sit here for you'd a while, have, and I... Yeah, you'd have to think. I mean, if they're just going to wait this out, they have to think about it, because the longer this game goes, it's going to go into dampening, and I feel like in dampening, this Rep Pally, Hoi Pally Hunter team is going to have a huge advantage, just because of the amount of cooldowns they have. But I, I guess, yeah, Yoss getting a little he impatient and pushing in. out. Yeah. He infiltrated the dungeon. Got the sap on Elite, Wyvern Sting on the Mystic, denying the dispels from both of them. Murder of Crows comes up, DR Chief Shot Mystic trying to answer it with his aggression on a Cubs. He forces the bar skin immediately, Murder of Crows. He could end up getting globaled here if he doesn't react properly. 30% Trinket Displacer at the last second. There's the Iron Bar coming up as well. He understands how desperate it can be against Red Hunter on a Resto Drew, but now they just swap over to Dilly Poo at 50%. Might force an early disp uh, d oh my god, deterrence as well. And this is not the opener they wanted, even though Peekaboo managed to infiltrate that. Uh, and so many cooldowns were used there by Cubsy and Dillypoo, so it's not looking good. Yeah, Cubsy's in a lot of trouble. I mean, the next Hodge on him could be a lot of trouble. He is caught into that Fist of Justice, and they are going to swap over to him. Mystic desperately getting out as much damage as possible on Cubsy. The second Hodge coming out onto him. He does have that Heart of the Wild up, so he is going to be able to just displace away, get up some very powerful hots on himself, and he should be able to top himself off. Meanwhile, Yasuke taking a little bit of damage. Peekaboo on the back of him um, runs over, and I think he actually kicked Elite's heel. Um, so, well done by him. The kidney shot comes out onto Elite for CC. They're turning around onto Yas, doing as much damage as possible onto him. The Ooh. DR cheap shot comes out onto Elite. Save by the light procs. Uh, Elite does get put into that tra or the trap out of that. I think he uh, trinketed that. Uh, the War Master comes out from Elite. He's going to be able to top off Yas, but Cubsy under a lot of pressure right now. Um, rapid fire coming out from uh, Yas onto him. But, yeah, I think Yas will be okay for now. Yeah, and the pre-evasion, but it gets hodged on it. They're pressuring Dillypoo, and Cubsy used that Iron Bark, so he's not going to have it for Dillypoo. He wanted to save the Bark Skin for a hodge down the road. He probably expects to get trained, but now he's into the Wyvern Sting, possibly the Half Trap. Half Trap out. The Half Trap's going to land. Dillypoo with the denounces on him. The Red Hunter, Holy Paladin, pressuring him. Now the Fist of Justice swap, though, and he saved that Bark Skin earlier. He's going to have it. Is it enough, though? 40% HP. The CC on the Mystic and Elite, though, is buying Cubsy the time to get out of that stun. He needs to start kiting, though. He's just caught in the center of the map with the Yasuo in hand. Finally, Displacer Beast, and that's going to 
help himself back off at the tomb here. Uh, Quacken the <laughs> dinosaur here, eating cubs here alive right now. In the meantime, though, Yas gets forced into the trinket deterrence at 30% HP, and he still has one more deterrence available. Cubs but that's not the, the situation Hodge, though, you want to get wings put into. From Mystic. Uh, Peekaboo trying desperately to peel off Mystic Cubs. He didn't have Barskin available for that. He is uh, going to trinket the DR Hodge to try to hot himself up, keep himself pre hot up. But Dillypoo getting swapped over to. He is forced into that deterrence. He only has one deterrence left. It just came up. Mystic causing a huge amount of pressure here with his wings. Does bop Elite out of uh, that blind as well. But Yas taking a lot of damage from Peekaboo and Dillypoo. But Dillypoo still hovering around 20% HP. Wyvern stinging Mystic defensively there, just trying to stop as much damage as possible on him so Cubsy can top him off. But the Hodge comes out onto Cubsy. Dillypoo forced into that second deterrence. He has no deterrences left. Cubsy has no trinket. The DR trap coming out onto Cubsy. Dillypoo's still in a lot of trouble here, and they're trying to turn around onto Yask. But another fist comes out onto Cubsy. Dillypoo does have those hots, though. Big NS comes out from Cubsy and is going to be able to top Dillypoo there. And Yask taking the brunt end of the damage now. But no CC out onto Elite. He does get interrupted there by Dillypoo. They are switching it over onto Cubsy. Mm -hmm. He is going to displace away. Um, but he does have Barskin available. I think he's going to be okay. They're just trying to. I guess keep Cubsy on his toes. No one's really safe against this team right now. Yeah, Dilly Poo with no deterrence is playing really aggressive up here on the tomb, trying to get the CC that he needs. The Wyvern Sting trying to come up, but it, Cubsy does shadow meld the Wyvern Sting. That's the triple cheap shot stun combo that they need to finish off Yasuke. Elite Trinkets immediately realizing how dire the situation is, trying to hold on to that deterrence, but a full trap has landed. Yasuke might have to deterrence, though. He wanted to go aggressive there, and having to deterrence when you have your crows up is the exact opposite of what you want to do. Now the barrage follow up, uh, but Cubsy has managed to get through those murder of crows without using Iron Bark, so he's going to have it if they swap back to him in 20 seconds with that Avenging Wrath. They're trying to bait a Barskin here. He's just going to displace the beast away with a kidney on a Mystic, and Peekaboo is just peeling like a god right now to keep Dilly Poo alive. Yas now at 50% HP. Elite gets locked out, throws out the Fist of Justice on the Cubs. He did pre-bear for him, so they're not going to be able to swap. He bubbles immediately and bobs Yask out of that damage there, but that wasn't the murder of Crows. Dilly Poo still has that. He's going to get trapped up there, eating the trap there for Cubsy that was thrown down and missed, unfortunately. Cubsy trying to go for some Cyclones, because this is their opportunity to strike with that murder of Crows, and no deterrence is left on Yas. There's the murder Crows come up. They need some CC onto Elite, though. He's just spam healing through it right now. Throws the sack. Uh, he did sack the Wyvern, so he's going to come out, and that's not what they wanted to see. They're still trying to pressure through it, though. 18% doesn't matter. Locked out on the word of glory there. And Peekaboo and Dilly Poo taking out the counter comp. Double yeah. Paladin is uh, not as tasty as the bubble gum. Double bubble. <laughs> yeah. All right, that is going to be two wins for Boo Brothers, and as you guys know, it is a best of three. Let's take a quick look at that replay. Uh, so there's the bop going out on to uh, onto Yask, but Elite had to use a lot to get that bop off, and that wasn't the biggest amount of damage that this tur this this thug had. In uh, I think it's going to bite him in the butt later on. So that's the hand of sacrifice that does break that uh, Wervin, but it's not going to be enough as the kidney shot goes out onto Yask, and he's the this turbo, or I'm sorry, turbo.